I'm Chris Fuller with Pioneer Risa Technology, and can we start off by taking a moment of silence for Flip. If you've ever used the Flip platform, it was a popular EdTech tool where questions and answers were posted as videos on a web page. Students could view each other's responses, like those responses, and leave comments to each other. Flip had some great video and graphic editing capabilities, and it's a huge bummer that Microsoft chose to shut down the platform. I've been looking for alternatives and there are a ton of people sharing creative ways to use other platforms to achieve results that are very similar to Flip. I found a solution that I really like and that I want to share with you. We're going to use Canva to create a Flipgrid experience for you and your students. Check it out. You've got a spot to post the teacher prompt with instructions and a grid of frames for students to add their video responses to. You can also use Canva's comment feature to leave a text reply, thumbs up emoji, or choose from one of Canva's stickers as a response. As someone that has worked with students of varying skill levels, I even lock the frame's position. That way no one can move, resize, or delete a frame from the grid. We're leveraging Canva's frame library to create this grid. To find the frames, click on the elements button, search frames, and click on see all next to frames. If you've never used this feature before, you're probably wondering why you would use these shapes that all have the same image of green rolling hills and a blue sky. That background is actually a signal to show you that this is just a placeholder. That means you can drag and drop any image or video over that background to replace it. We're using it to define where we want students to place their content. If your students are using Chromebooks or iPads, they can use the native camera app on the device to record their videos for this grid. Canva actually gives you a second option of recording video without leaving Canva. Click on the Uploads button and then click the Record Yourself button. For our use case, we will only record the camera and change the video shape to rectangle before hitting Record. Once you're ready to stop recording, hit the Done button. Then drag and drop your video into an empty frame and you're done. For this to work, you need to share the collaborative link with your students. So hit the share button in the top right hand corner of your screen, change the collaborative link drop down menu to anyone with the link, and then change the permissions drop down to can edit. You can change can edit to can comment as soon as everyone gets a chance to post. If you plan on using collaborative assignments with your students often, then you might want to create a group. That will let you share editing rights with a specific group of students, like just the students in your third period. If the thought of using Canva in the place of Flip gets you excited, then take a screenshot in three, two, one. I know how valuable your time is and making something like this takes that time. That QR code will open a view only version of my VidGrid template. Click file and then make a copy. If you use this template with your students, I would welcome your feedback on how to improve the design. If you make your own design, please share it with me too.